here we are with a series of halogen halide iron displacement reactions. In the first three conical flasks here, we have potassium chloride. In the second three conical flask, we have potassium bromide. And in the third set of three conical flasks, we have potassium iodide. Into each of them, we're going to sequentially put iodine in this row, bromine water into this row, and chlorine water into this row. So let's have a look if any displacement reactions occur. Here's the iodine. You can see it's stained the uh, bottle deep brown color. We're familiar with iodine. And if we place an approximate equal amount, a few mils, into each of those solutions, we see not much difference in the three. The same color for the iodine, and nothing appears to have happened. Into the second sequence of uh, flasks, we're going to put bromine water. So this is quite nasty stuff. Um, there's the bromine water. Quickly put the stop top back on the bottle. The bromine water, 0.02 molar. And let's introduce that into the three flasks. So we've got into the first flask, which is in bromine water in potassium chloride. This is bromine water into potassium bromide. And finally, bromine water into potassium iodide. And hopefully you can see there that the bromine into potassium iodide has turned a much deeper uh, orange colour than the other two, perhaps indicating a difference in the reaction. Finally, we have chlorine water. Here's the chlorine water, and we're going to introduce that into the three flasks. So first, let's put some chlorine water into the potassium chloride. Then chlorine water into potassium bromide. And finally, chlorine water into potassium iodide. So once again, you can see a difference in the intensity of the colours there. The chlorine into cl potassium chloride, uh, no noticeable change, but both into the chlorine into the potassium bromide, we've got a development of an uh, orange yellow colour, and into the potassium iodide, we've got that familiar iodine colour present there. So 